Daily Tarot, August 4th. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you at your reading. Hi friends, my name is Chriselle with Psychic MD and I'm here to do your August 4th Friday reading. This is just a daily and here we are. We have the Six of Cups. I pulled this off the camera and I thought, interesting, let's see what this brings. For today, you could have somebody from the past contact you or you could be thinking about somebody from the past that weighs on your mind, somebody that you have fond memories with, feelings of nostalgia, love, innocence as well. If you hear noise, I can't correct that. <laughs> but I will tell you that you could be feeling a little bit lonely, so be careful with that. Um, I think that with this light right here being literally reflected, you could be having some epiphanies as well or seeing the road for what it really is. So part of your heart, I feel like, is nostalgic and maybe stuck in reminiscing a bit too much. But the other part is I'm aware of what exactly that road entails, what it looks like, the winding roads, the bumps, all of it. So I think that if you focus a little bit more on the light than their emotion, more on the intellect than how you're feeling, you'll be able to come out of this day doing super well. Any more energy? Show me what I need to see. For the collective, August the 4th, and that would be Friday. And show me now. We have the phone. So maybe this is stating that somebody from your past wants to take a chance on you. It could be a job, it could be a person, a family member, it doesn't make a difference. But also with the fool, this is about traveling light. Now, if you look at the two different images, if I can squeeze them in the picture together, very different energies. Not sure if this is possible up here. So anyways, very different energies you have with the fool, very lighthearted energy, very creative, free flowing, a little bit of a hippie vibe, a little bit of trying to get things done in spite of. I feel like also there's going to be some truth being spoken that you're going to be embracing that's going to make you feel nostalgic and fuzzy and reminiscent. I'm um, also kind of like lovey-dovey is a feeling I'm getting. So whatever, like I heard tickles me pink, that kind of a thing. Um, so if you're focused a little bit more on the intellect and then taking chances on this day is going to go well if you follow your intellect but not so much your emotions and I feel like that's how you get into the full energy a little bit of let me take a risk calculate a risk a very well thought out risk but a risk nonetheless and I think that's how you can get the best out of this day personally any last words for this day for the collection and show me now that three of swords yeah it's kind of what i was feeling with the nostalgia is that you can get a little bit into the disappointment into what heartache heartbreak and things like that especially if it's something of old at some point we're going to have to move on or come to grips with it so however that looks like to you um you're, you know, we all have to deal with our own heartache and things like that. But I feel like once again, if you stay away from like the emotion of it and really kind of analyze it from a mental stance, that is going to give you the most benefit. And I feel like it'll pull you out of this energy of being kind of sad. Um, I just saw 333. So again, cooperation can be something for you. Could be seen 333. And last message for the collective. Yeah, look, using your intellect, my friends, and speaking your truth according to how your know, analytics come together, how you can intellectualize things, how you can think things through, facts over heart, um, facts over feeling, things of that matter is going to really help you. And I think that that'll give you a really good direction. I do feel like you have a very pure heart in things. Um, with all of this white coming through and the white wolf, that is incredibly beautiful. But I do think that this is issues from the past and I feel like you want to resolve them peacefully but don't cause yourself any more pain in thinking with your heart. It's a time to really think with your head and put things to bed in that manner. You will really benefit and come out feeling so much better. With that, I will leave you. Much love to you. Until next time, namaste.